Hi, beloveds. Uh, we are doing our Reiki clinic again in person um, at uh, our, our uh, a temple and transit lounge, as we call it, and uh, in April and the first Thursday of the month. And we always have a theme that we play with for those who come and join us, the practitioners who join us on Zoom uh, beforehand or those who are, are present here. But the theme I wanted to talk about, which is quite fresh for, for me and, and for my beloved behind the camera is um, just the uh, grief. So, you know, today we found out about a brother who's been very dear to us who, who died. And, um, uh, you know, I, I still feel that, that sorrow of uh, some amazing being has just left the, the planet. Someone who brought such great gifts of creativity through his body, his service, through the arts, through so many ways. And, um, and, and he's gone. And, and then I have to think about, you know, what the world's going through uh, today and, and how much change is happening uh, all the time. And I have to, have to believe myself that part of what the tensions are in the world is there's a lot of strife, a lot of oppression, a lot of war, a lot of climate change, a lot of this and that and the other that's really uh, her, her, making people go, oh my God, you know, what's, what's going on? And I think much of what we experience is what I call unprocessed grief. So, you know, when I worked with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, she used to talk about our unfinished business. Um, and tonight I, w I was at a, at a service and coming home, uh, uh, one of the, the fellow parishioners from, from the service uh, was on the same bus with me. And, and so we had this great conversation and I was telling him about, about how cold my hands have been for a number of of weeks now and in trying to do all kinds of things to to bring more blood and circulation and oxygen to my hands so they warm up and the few times that they do warm up is usually when I'm doing Reiki on someone uh, other than that or being in a hot tub uh, I, I don't experience much warmth in my hands and, and this brother said to me well you know Kirk uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering what your cold hands might be. And I wish he kind of flipped the switch on me and had me kind of look at my own work and going, oh, so if, if your cold hands mean something. And I had to think, well, I wonder if part of it is, um, is unprocessed grief. That so much... Uh, change and loss is happening in our world and as an empath I'm feeling a lot of that for both myself and for the world and are my hands getting cold so I'm just kind of living in that question so I would ask you that same question is where is your unprocessed grief located in your body and um, and how might knowing that kind of give you some some ways of approaching uh, guiding yourself out of grief you know I'm, 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 I'm aware of in most traditions there are are many sacred passages that talk about grief and mourning and and you know blessed are the the grief so that the the mourners so because they they shall be comforted or or your your grief shall be turned into dancing you know that those who sow in tears shall shall reap in joy i mean you know every every tradition has some some enlightened stuff because throughout all time we've all experienced grief but exploring how how is grief located in your body and and how might it be part of your source of healing right now in these times? So I just want to play with unprocessed grief and the grief that we bring uh, as we do our Reiki clinic and send out healing energy to all of you out there who request it as well. So join us and namaste.